welcome to your October forecast. Now, I just want to talk about October first. So October is the number 10. It's the 10th month of the year and one and zero make one. So very much a self-centered energy that comes in here. Um, also the ability to create comes in with the zero, but also intention is important. Intuition is important. So one is always new beginnings and implementing new ideas as well. And I know Geminis love new ideas. You guys are the smarts of the Zodiac. So we're going to be looking at the four weeks of the month today. And I'll be using the Alistair Crowley Tarot Pack. He is slightly different to um, most of the other packs. He was a very much a man of the dark craft as well as all things esoteric. And so his cards are really fascinating if you ever want to do a little bit of learning on him. So, yep, beautiful. I'm just going to pop these all down because I think they're correct now. Yep, they've got nice energies coming in here. Okay, back to Gemini. Now, we're having a look at the first week, which is the Prince of Cups. So what we've got here is potentially a water sign influence around you. Could be Scorpio, Pisces or Cancerian. But it may also be how you're meant to act in the first week. Maybe you're feeling the characteristics of a water sign. So you're feeling emotional um, and maybe you're not as... Uh, regulated as usual maybe there's a you're being put in a position where you're having to feel the feels and that feels uncomfortable because i know gemini's don't like to feel the feels they like to be all logical and have explanation and be wordsmiths and then suddenly it's asking right well we need you to deep dive into your emotions and have a good look around so let's oh these just flipped all over so let's have a look what flipped We've got a just cause. A just cause is a moral sacrifice that may not be understood by others, but is felt profoundly. When we find a bigger cause than ourselves, we grow spiritually. Never shy away from a cause that feels right and just. Then we've got here, words are spells. Now, Gemini, you know that. You know the power of words. So uh, words are spells. What is it, though, that you're not saying? So you may be holding your tongue in a situation, maybe you're not always speaking your truth, but this could be a moment of speaking your truth because you do feel to me like you're a little bit muffled underneath water. It's like you've done, you've dived under and nobody can hear you properly. So potentially what we've got here is some misunderstandings, some communication issues. Maybe someone's holding their tongue. Maybe you're holding your tongue. Maybe you're having to walk on eggshells, but um, there's a situation that is occurring here and what you need per se is to look at your diet and your nutrition and consider growing your own fresh produce and experimenting in the kitchen but remember that food also affects your mental health your emotional health and your physical health so I think there's a lot of deep rooted stuff going on for you in the first week of October that you may need to actually face so let's see what the runes have to say about that Yes, you're well protected here. So going into a safe space. So if you do need to have a serious conversation with somebody, choose the right time where both of you can not feel defensive or that your time short, you know, so that you can actually sit down and really nut some things out here. But it could also be you just misinterpreting yourself at the moment as well. Maybe you haven't had any clarity. Maybe you're oh, in two minds about some things. So this could be a really good time for you to find somewhere peaceful to sit and just meditate. Now, going into the second week of October for you, we had the Knight of Swords. Now, this could definitely be your energy coming in here because, you know, usually, you know, Gemini's are quick, 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 very savvy, very witty, all that, and always like to be action packed and always heading towards something in a rush. And this is what the Knight of Swords is all about. There's a little bit of immaturity around it because it is a knight, not a king. Um, you could be having someone around you who is rushing you potentially into things that you're not necessarily wanting to rush into. But it could be that you're starting to clear some of that emotional baggage out from the week before and now you're wanting to get into a, a spring clean or starting to really 
impact your life with some positivity and some action. And so you're kind of flying by the seat of your pants a little bit in the second week here. What we've got here is entrapment. You are feeling very trapped um, in a situation that you think you can't get out of, but it's actually how you perceive the situation. So it, it only requires a different state of reality. So you are not stuck. You just believe to be stuck. And here, use your higher consciousness and your psychic ability to move out of this space for yourself. Yeah, and a little bit of nightmare. So watch your sleep. We don't want you rushing too much in the second week, even though I feel like this is where you want to be. And even two runes have come out. So you're like, no, Joe, I want to rush. We've got some movement happening here. This is the journey rune. So movement forwards, movement that is necessary. And we've also got inner strength coming in here. So uh, you do, I think, be cautious and careful the second week of October because you may be wanting to push forwards faster than what you need to or what actually is working with the alignment of the universe because I'm feeling a lot of disalignment that's happening, disalignment from yourself and from people around you and from situations. And so they, they probably just need some time out, to be honest, for you to realign here. Going into week three, we have the Hierophant. Hierophant's been presenting itself quite a bit today, actually, and it's to do with establishments that have rules and regulations and dogma and uh, stability, and it's the power of the Hierophant. It's a, it can even be divine presence, but there's usually rules around it. There's as restrictions and um and also kind of a masculinity about this card here with the Hierophant. It is a number five, so expect the unexpected in the third week. There could be some sudden changes, roller coaster activity, but you may be traveling a fair bit. There might be some adventure as well. Let's have a look at the clarifying cards here. Uh, we've got liberation. You're starting to feel a lot of freedom coming in in this space here. Um, it could be that you're working with an establishment who's given you a lot of opportunity for you to do your own thing. Um, so a lot of um, empowerment in your own space. I don't feel like it's a declaration of freedom. I don't feel like you have to remove yourself from somewhere. I feel like you've, you've been given the chance to have your own empowerment in this week. We've also got you dreaming of your teeth falling out, which can be an unhealthy obsession with wealth or vanity. So if you do get obsessive about, I need to make money, most of my decisions are based on money, or the vanity coming in, like I've got to look a certain way, present myself a certain way, have a brand a certain way, um, it may be time to reassess that. Um, because maybe you don't always have to be that way. You've got a little bit of decisions to make. Know who you're loyal to. It's going to be really important that you know who you can trust and who you can't trust this month, um, who's good for you, who isn't good for you this month, and creating order. So, you know, the Hierophant's very much about order, and it's saying, yes, you need to create order too. And it's just so that you can have foundations and practical and predictability in your life because when we have strong foundations underneath us we are able to be that creative person on the top energy so there is kind of like a, it, it is almost a maturing attitude that's happening this month it's like right things are in my control and the outcome therefore will be a sign of who I am my character where I'm going with my life. And so it's almost like you're creating the story of your authentic self this month. Who am I? What are, What's my just cause? What is it that I want people to know about me and what my values and morals are? So it, I'm not saying you're being questioned about your morals. It's just that maybe you're trying to decide and it's going to help the bigger picture by you having a grasp on it. Now, let's pick a rune. The rune is obstacles. So yes, there are some things that you do absolutely need to deal with and you have to be very mature about it when you deal with it. There's no childish behavior. There's no tantrums. It's kind of like, I know, be very still 
when you're presenting your ideas. Now, going into the fourth week, we have the Prince of Wands. So the Prince, you know, princes and knights, they're very action. They've still got a little bit of immaturity, but maturity about them. They're wanting to achieve, achieve, achieve. And so the wand is no difference. He can come in sometimes a bit too fired up for his own good, that energy. So you might be presented with someone who's similar to this, or you might be being uh, this, having this character yourself. You might be showing some of these um, attributes in your own life. So the Prince of Wands, you know, there may be a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries around you, or it could simply be you. So let's have a look at some clarifiers. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, we've got liberation again and empowerment and career. So it's very much, I think, career-based, this reading, and what you're willing to put up with, what you're not willing to put up with, what people think of you, what they don't think of you. So it's a critical month, I think, of self-analysis. And of course, I caution you not to be too you know, critical without um, finding solutions. It could be say, okay, well, this is working, but people don't seem to like me and I need them to like me because of this, this and this. I'm usually a don't care about what people think person, but he's indicating that you need to get your character into a space where you feel confident and other people around you feel confident about what you can and can't achieve. And I think that's going to be the most important thing for you to achieve in your intention in October here. So let's pull a rune and we have movement here. So there's definitely movement coming, could be physical movement, could be metaphysical movement, uh, it could be a spiritual movement, mental movement, emotional movement, you get what I'm talking about. But the career, it's time for a career change, You're never too old or committed to start over again, no excuses. And what we're wanting here is a lot of freedom in this space. So you may be uh, implicate, not sorry, implementing some new ideas into your life as well because Geminis are fantastic with new ideas. Um, when I come down here, we've got a lot of people around. We've got a Prince of Cups, a Knight of Swords, and a Prince of Wands. There's a lot of people here, all of them at a masculine level. So there's a lot of men around you that are either dictating or will be dictating, or maybe you have to present yourself to men. So it's, um, and, and to the establishment of men as well here. And I'm not saying that's good or bad. It's just that there seems to be a very masculine energy around you for this month. Um, remember to look after your diet. Uh, be careful with your words because, you know, Geminis can speak their truth harshly at times and very, uh, so maybe bring in that Gemini wit and uh, intelligence and find your own feeting to how you feel about things and then present that to others. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you.